What's up YouTube, welcome back. Today we have another lead code SQL problem. This one's part of SQL 50, lead code security list of SQL problems to get started with. This was another easy question, but it is quite tricky. So let's get into it. So the way this one is tricky is really the problem statement, but this one's, as I said, marked as easy. It's part of the basic aggregate function section still, and it's called queries quality and percentage also numbered 12, 11, if you want to search for it, I'll also link it down below. But this one only has one table for us to work with, which is called queries. It has a query name, result, position, and rating. It has some information on what these columns refer to. There could be duplicate rows in the table. The table contains information collected from some queries on a database. So someone running queries against database, just similar to what we're doing right now. The position column has a value from one to 500, which could be the order in which those are run in. Not entirely sure. And the rating column has a value from one to five, where the query with rating less than three is a poor query. So a query with a rating of less than three is considered a poor query because it's low quality. Not sure how the rating is Form, but yeah, that's what we have. Let's take another look at the actual full problem statement, which is that we define query quality as the average of the ratio between query rating and its position. Sounds confusing, I'll just straight on. We also defi define poor query percentage as the percentage of all queries with rating less than three. That's what we had in the table description as well. Our task is to write a solution to find each query name, the quality and poor query percentage. Both quality and poor query percentage should be rounded to two decimal places. Return the result table in any order and the result format is in the following example. So let's take a look at some example data. Hopefully that makes it make sense. We have the queries table with query name, which is dog or cat in this example. So it's a query querying the dog table maybe, or cat table. And the result would be golden retriever, German shepherd, mule, or anything like that. We have a query position and rating where I assume five would be good quality, but yeah. For the output, what we actually need to care about is getting the query name, getting the query quality, and getting the poor query percentage. Here's an example for the quality column, which in this case would be five divided by one plus five divided by two plus one divided by 200 and all of that divided by three. So five divided by one would be rating divided by position. Then the same for the other query name, dog five divided by two and then one divided by 200. Since we have three entries, we're dividing by three. So it's pretty much the average of that division for all queries that have the same name, if that makes sense. So let's take another look at the statement. Find each query name, the quality, which is the rating divided by the position, and then the poor query percentage, which is the amount or the, the ratio of queries with a rating of less than three. Yeah, let's just get started maybe to actually do this step by step, but yeah, as I said, we only have one table to work with, which makes this easier. So let's select the query name, then have a uh, placeholder for quality and a placeholder for poor query percentage. And yeah, we're selecting from that one table called queries or queries, which is all we have to work with. Now, yeah, let's take another look at the definition because if we just follow that, we should be fine. So quality is defined as the average of the ratio between query rating and its position. So it should be rating divided by position and it should actually be an average because we're doing that for each query name. Yeah. So. Since we're doing that for each query name, having an average, we want to also group by the first column or query name specifically. 
not really stated well in the question, but if we would take a look at the example output, this is and and the example calculations, this is based on each query name. So yeah, average for each query name, in this case dog or cat. So let's continue here. So we took care of quality. We'll have to remember to round it to two decimal places later on. But looking at poor query percentage, this one is the percentage of all queries with a rating of less than three. So I'll actually move this to new rows just to keep the overview. But yeah. In order to get the percentage of all queries with rating less than three, we can use a case statement to see or to do anything deciding on whether a rating is less than three or not. So let's do that and then think of what else we can do. So case when rating lower than three makes a hard sign. Pretty cool. Case when rating lower than three, then let's just do one else zero and this will for each row, look at the rating value. And if that is lower than three, then we assign a one for that row, otherwise a zero. If we then sum that up and divide it by the number of rows, we get the percentage of all queries that have a rating of less than three. But we could also just use the average here because yeah, we have one value per row. So that should check out. That should give us the poor, peri, uh, poor query percentage. You need to be careful to actually assign one when it's less than three and not the other way around. So be careful where to have zero and one here, but that should work. Maybe I'll run this for now, just to see the output. Then, yeah, I'll try another way and I'll also add the rounding to the output. Yeah, as you can see, we have some errors here or just some red marks from not rounding, but the result looks as expected actually. So if we did the rounding here, then this would be 2.50 or 2.5, and this would be 0 0.66. So yeah, this would work out actually. So yeah, let's go ahead, do the rounding maybe, and then I'll show you the other way to do this case one. It's not really another way, it's just another MySQL shortcut. So instead of constructing that case when statement, you could also just specify that comparison ratings less than three. And just in other, just like in other programming languages, it, it will evaluate to true or false and for MySQL, if you use an aggregate function like average, if you try to do anything with that true false, with those true false values, they will just use one for true and zero for false. If you're doing a number calculation, something arithmetic like taking the average. So here for average of that comparison, it will do averages of one and zero. Basically just assigns the ones and zeros just like I did with that case when statement without me having to type it out. So let's see if that actually works. I don't do that as often because I usually code in Redshift SQL which is similar to PostgreSQL. But let's run that. I also added the rounding here. And yeah, that should give us a very short and clean solution. The only annoying thing here maybe is that they want the query percentage as, as a percentage out of a hundred and not zero to one. So yeah, if it would be 33.33% here, they would want it to say 33.33 .33 instead of 0 0.3333. So we'll have to multiply this by a hundred People often want you to do this for percentages. So yeah, it's always times 100. Let's just add that in here. Make sure to add it inside the rounding function and not outside. And yeah, it should be fine there. 
it might still work, but um, that it should be the best solution. I think if I submit this, I remember this problem having a very weird test case where yeah, you could have null as the query name. This is actually the only one that failed. If you have null as the query name, they don't want you to include that in the output. They would only want to have query names that have actual values. So here, instead of null and cat, they would just want cat. They didn't specify that in the question. So nothing wrong here really with our solution. But in order to fix this, we can say where query name is not null and it will filter out null values in case there are some. And if we now submit this question, it should be accepted. And yeah, that's it for that question. If you want to follow along and get through all of lead code SQL 50, I have a playlist for every problem in that list and we're going to go through all of that. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to study along, feel free to hit up the playlist or just watch for new videos coming in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.